Okay, nice. I, I'll be honest, I didn't think Claudster would ever score a KO in this entire, like, video, but we did it. So this team comes from Ploppy14, aka Claudsire's Strongest Soldier. Um, they got second at the biggest Regulation D event with it. I don't know what that Regulation D event was. Let me see. Uh, VR Challenge? Oh no, they didn't get second. They day two'd. My bad. They got day two at the VR Challenge, which is really big for a Claudsire. So we're going to be trying out that team. Here's the code on screen for it. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out. So... We have, I also have the paste right here. Um, we have Choice Band, Phantom Force, Terra Blast, um, Dragapult with Chen Pao, just sort of a standard set. Uh, we have Rigoraf and Claude Sire. I lied, it's both. <laughs> I, when, I, when we were starting the stream, I said, sorry, it's not a Rigoraf team, it's a Claude Sire team. It's both. Um, but the Claude Sire is more exciting for me. Uh, but yeah, it's Terra Water, Gunk Shot, Stopping Tantrum, Yawn, and Helping Hand. From what I can tell, this is just meant to be a hard check to Urshifu Rapid or Urshifu Rapid Strike since you're resisting the fighting moves and you're immune to water moves and switching it on, that's really big. We have standard-ish Assault Vest Iron Hands with Fake Out, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, Heavy Slam. Actually, no, that's just straight up standard. Actually, I think this is my exact same EV spread that I use. I feel like there's one Iron Hands spread. Um, and we have Booster Energy Fluttermane. It is... Modest nature. It looks like this is special attack boosting, but I can't tell. But it's also substitute, so maybe it is. Maybe hold on, let me check before we start. I need to see which stats higher because I'm only looking at the paste right now. Pokemon showdown. Just so I don't have to check in the team preview. Alright. Uh no, it's speed boosting. Okay, so it is speed boosting, but modest. Sounds good. Let's get into it. If you're watching this on YouTube, you know, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, answer my comment question of the day, which is, what do you think about the Claude Sire, man? What do you think about the Claude Sire? I think it's very, I think it's very cool. Let's get into it. Also, if you're watching on Twitch, say hi to YouTube. I'll switch over to that screen in a second. As soon as I accidentally stop pressing B. Or stop accidentally pressing B. All right, rank battles. All right. So I believe last time we went live, we were using that... Oh, what was it? It was a really cool team from a viewer. I believe it was the Glacier team. And that team went insane, dude. We're 13 and 5 as far as rank goes. Let's see if we can keep it up. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little tired. All right, everyone's saying hi to YouTube. Here we go. There you go. You guys are in the YouTube video now. Hello, everyone. Hello, YouTube. Say hi to Twitch, YouTube. All right. I don't know anything about the leads. Let me see if the Twitter post has any notes. Nope, no notes. <laughs> We're facing Trap 2. Uh, ooh, this is a pretty interesting team. So it looks like they have slow Tailwind in the form of Zapdos, but it could be like Choice Scarf on the Arcanine. Um... Not sure what they're doing with that Annihilate. But I actually really just like the Dragapult Chen Pao lead. Yeah, Dragapult Chen Pao seems really good. I'm going to want to bring the Iron Hands. And you know what? For funsies, we are gonna bring we are gonna bring this this Claude Sire. I need to use it at least once, man. Wah wah. People of YouTube, use Claude Sire or you're not cool. Thank you, Kens, in chat. Fungo Furioso. That name goes crazy, dude. Hey, if you're if you're Fungo Furioso, hit my line. Alright. Um, I actually really think I should be able to just protect and U-turn out into. Um, I mean, I should be able to one-shot. I'm kind of scared about getting Sucker Punch, though. Because that could KO me. Maybe just Ice Spinner and go hard into, like, my Iron Hands. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't want to get Sucker Punched, right? Like, losing Dragapult immediately could be really bad. Jin, how you doing? Cheeks. What's Cheeks? The Claude Sire? 
All right, I'd imagine it's gonna be the, what's it called, the Brute Bonnet. I almost said Fungo Furioso. I'm like, yeah, dude, that's that's Fungo Furioso. Famous, famous Pokemon, Fungo Furioso. Spore into you. Okay. Luckily, we're Terra Grass. Um, I might have gotten Play Rough, though. That could be really bad. Hopefully, they targeted into not you. Okay, they targeted into you. I just lost my Iron Hands immediately. How do I fix this? That was that was my answer to like their whole team. Hmm. Well, they didn't sucker punch. I guess we have to lock Terra Blast. And in the interest of minimizing damage here, I'm gonna go hard into Claude Sire. I mean, this game isn't over. It's salvageable. It's just that that um, the uh, the the Azumarill is kind of scary. Also, no, never mind. The game isn't salvageable. I think we just lost right away. Oh no, they went for player off into you. That's fine. Cool. Check this out. Check out this play. You're not gonna believe this play. You're not going to believe this play. This play is going to blow your mind. No, I threw. <laughs> I threw. All right. Maybe they protected. They didn't protect. No. There's the spore. Yeah, I don't know how we come back from this, guys. <laughs> I may have freaked it severely. I may have freaked it severely. I mean, if it's Zapdos. Definitely need to prioritize you, right? Um, I'm going to go for Yon into you. They, they haven't revealed Sucker Punch. I'm just going to assume they don't have it. I get confused. They're going to go for the Spore. They do outspeed me, unfortunately. Alright. Um, as I stated, this game is salvageable, but only if we get rid of this... Um, only if we get rid of this Fungo Furioso. Just attempt the Terra Blast. If they have Sucker Punch, they should click it now. They have Protect, Spore, and... No, there it is. All right. I was waiting for that the whole game. I predicted that turn one, and it just never came out. Frankly, I'm insulted they didn't ever Sucker Punch my Dragapult until this turn. Frankly, I'm insulted. All right, our Chen Pao has not burned a single turn of sleep. But that's not going to stop me from absolutely winning this game. I Look, I, I just need this guy to get one KO. Cool. I, I just need the I need the, the Clods here to get a KO and I'll be happy, man. They attempt to spore me. Okay, they might be throwing. There is a slight chance of throwing going on. So we saw how much the uh, Ice Spinner did last time. Both of my guys have burned a single turn of sleep. The only way I'm going to be able to KO is if Ice Spinner either high rolls or both of my guys wake up here and I also dodge a... Um, and I also dodge a Hurricane. Plotsar wakes up. Okay, Chen Pao, I just need you to do the other half of this. The other half of this and we're good. Come on. Goat. 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 Come on. Just be a goat. Just be He's not the goat. 
He's not the GOAT. Why did I think I would outspeed? I could have sucker punched. I don't know why I thought I would outspeed there. Anyways, the game's over. As I get confused again. I'm going to be put to sleep immediately. Seed Bomb, I'm going to eat that. Flotsire is going to score a KO. Check this out, guys. He's not. He's going to hit himself. Oh, no. We're good. He did it. No, he didn't. Okay. Clodsire, um, we're learning some stuff about Clodsire. What are Clodsire's stats? You know, I should have familiarized myself with that first if we're being real. Let me check something. Also, we're going to forfeit. That was that was just a horrible game. Let me, for, let me uh, familiarize myself with Clodsire's stats because I legit do not know them. I know it's HP stats like 130, right? One thirty HP, seventy five attack. Oh well, that's why we didn't KO. We're adamant though. That didn't KO. What day do you think you'll do rentals from people again? I don't know. I might do like every other Tuesday. All right, we can bring it back. That was just a that was just a very unfortunate game for Klotzar. We did lose to someone with a ten thousand ranking, which means we dropped a ton of points. But you know, it's whatever. We can gain them back. Okay, um, so it's in DD Armor Rouge with Psychic Seed, um, Psychic Seed Unburden, um, Sneasler. What is our matchup into that? I guess, do we have Imprison? We do. Okay, that's our matchup. Um, we're also Sash. I think we lead off with the Dragapult. Yeah, lead off with Dragapult. Um, in that, I'm pretty sure that's Urshfu Rapid Strike, so I am going to make another very ill-advised attempt at using the Claude Sire, but we'll see how that works out. Uh, Chen Pao could be pretty solid into this as well, though I probably should have gone Fluttermane, all things considered. I think we're fine. I think Ferragraph will cover the things I want to hit with Fluttermane anyways. Are you going to Worlds Moxie? No, I can't afford to. All right, cool. So luckily we're immune to close combat, which is this thing's like scariest move. Um, I think here, is there a point in imprisoning Trick Room? I think they just want to, like, follow me anyways. It's just Dazzling Gleam. And, uh... I could U-turn? Who would I U-turn into? Clodsire, probably? Clodsire actually does really good in here, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll U-turn onto you. Yeah. Dire Claw doesn't do that much. Don't do anything to me. Thank you. Choice Band U-Turn does a ton. Uh, we're probably not going to score this KO. Oh, and also the Rocky Helmet uh, with Dazzling Gleam. Uh, I'm going to want to go Claude Sire here. Just because it walls out Sneasler. Alright. And all things considered, is my Trick Room matchup with Claude Sire even that bad? It is. I should not let Trick Room go up. Okay, we're going to imprison the Trick Room <laughs> and uh, go for the Stomping Tantrum onto you, fully expecting it to get Fall Meat away as they're going to go for Terra Flying. Oh, Terra Poison. Hello? Okay. Interesting. I didn't, I didn't think you would ever run that. I guess it's not bad. Like, you lose the, the neutrality to fairy. 
But yeah, losing my Farigraph here kind of sucks. This should still do a decent amount, though. Um, Sneasler's not the bulkiest dude in the world. However, that Psychic's going to hurt. Okay, nice. I, I'll be honest, I didn't think Claude Sir would ever score a KO in this entire, like, video, but we did it. And pretty early on, too. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it, man. There's Armor Rouge. What's your best bet at stopping Trick Room? I think we just want us to have the option to exist under Trick Room. I'll go for the Dragon Darts here. Um, and I'm going to get in my Chen Pao to deal maximum damage. Um, and then under Trick Room, Claude Sar will be able to underspeed the Armor Rouge and go for like a Stomping Tantrum. If, in case they decide to go for Trick Room with the, um, with the Armor Rouge instead of the Ndidi. Oh, they're just going to Helping Hand. Okay, that's nice, because they're probably going to want to go for not Heat Wave, Expanding Force, so we're in a good spot here. One. Two. All right, so Dragapult's going to go down here. Let's see if they're Life Orb. I would love if you were. They're not life orb. Okay. I need to get rid of that arm rouge ASAP. Is their last Pokemon's Fluttermain? Ooh. Oh, please be special attack. Speed. Okay. Um, how do I get away with this? I have to go for throat chop, right? I think the only way I see myself winning here is getting a yawn off versus this dude and just landing the throw chop versus armor rouge. And I'm too scared to click protect. Dazzle Gleam. Okay. I think that's just game. Yeah. Unless they're. Well, they're not Rocky Helmet. They're Scarf! What? <laughs> Dude, I cannot play this game. <laughs> Why are they you Scarf? Why are you Scarf, man? Unless we're like slow. No, we're adamant. Yeah, they have to be Scarf then. I can't stand in DD Armor Rouge, bro. I can't I can't play in DD Armor Rouge. Alright, my only win con is a is a crit. My only win con is crit sucker punch. Dude, that sucks. All right, crit. Oh, no, we're just we're just cracked. They're just not bulky. Awesome. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. They're just not bulky. Actually, no, we're adamant. Okay. The adamant comes in handy there then. It just messes up their calc. Nice. Scarf Armor Rouge gives me ideas. Trust me, you wouldn't be the first one to have them. Scarf Armor Rouge is just like Garbo tier close team sheet stuff. Granted, on ladder it is close team sheet, but you know, I'm a tournament player, so yeah, I just I just don't like it. <laughs> All right. Um, ooh, how do we deal with this sort of team? Do you have the tools for it? I don't know how we do that. Um, do you have Sacred Sword? I forgot. No, it's Throat Chop. I'm not entirely certain this team is able to beat uh, Gudra. I think this team just lacks it. I guess, technically, Iron Hands is our best option. 
so we can't afford to leave that at home. Body press would hurt, though. Okay, um... Iron Hands lead, plus Fluttermane doesn't seem bad. Wait, let me get a sub off. Maybe I just want the initial damage. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go for the Chen Pao Dragonite lead. I'm going to bring Iron Hands in the back. And for the last Mon, I legit don't know like what my answer to this is on this team. Because we don't have like Toxic or anything. I guess we have Yawn. That could be an answer. Let's try it. Just like attacking it while it's like sleeping. Yeah, I guess that's the way we would deal with it. Spencer, hey Moxie, love the content, man, especially the show on live shenanigans. Hope you get to 100k subs soon because you deserve it. Hey, I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, I don't see myself really using a Terra anywhere else. I want to make sure this Gyarados doesn't get to play the game. Also, Gyarados aren't really known for Protect. Well, I guess, you know, some Gyarados do run Protect. Some do. But, like, a lot of them want, like, to have their cake and eat it, too. And by that, I mean they have, like, Taunt, Thunder Wave, Waterfall, and Terror Blast, or, like, Iron Head or something. Okay, I think this should KO. It's Choice Ban, Terror Blast, and also an Ice Spinner. Ooh, maybe not. That didn't do nearly as much as I thought. Am I going to get Thunder Waved? Can you, like, dodge the Thunder Wave, buddy? Iron Head? Okay, I can take that. That's fine. Go for another Terra Blast. Um, I don't want to swap, but I need to stay in to get the KO, so I'll protect. And I need this Cloud Sire for the late game. I think Cloud Sire is literally just the way you beat the uh, the Hisui and Gudra. Gyarados underrated pick and Reg D. I think it is too. It's just that now we have good electric types other than Iron Hands. And Iron Hands is still good, you know? They're going to withdraw probably Gudra. I'd love her if it was Gudra. Heatran. Okay, this doesn't eat that hit that well. Still gonna hurt. All right, are you leftovers? I'd love it if you weren't. <laughs> the, when I found that Terra Normal Garchomp and called it out, even though there was no reason it should ever be that. Yeah, I remember that too. Okay, it is leftovers. That means it should protect here. Um, I mean. It makes me want to go into, like, hands. And Ice Spinner into you. Because I don't really need... I don't really need Chen Pao to win. I got, I got all the chunks that I needed. I would imagine they protect here. Yep. Now I have Fake Out Pressure and I can just get a KO next turn if they KO my Chen Pao. Alright. Cool. Ooh. I don't know if that's still gonna KO without Sword of Ruin. That's that's the kicker, right? And I definitely think I'm more invested in getting rid of this 
in preventing the Grim Snarl from doing anything. So I can go for Fake Out here. And then a Terra Blast into you. It's going to be a really, really slow endgame, I can tell you that much. Especially if there is a Gujar in the back. Clodsire is going to have to carry. Camera's a little too low. Alright, can I KO anyways? I'm, I don't have I don't have Sword of Ruin, but can I please? Does Phantom Force go through screens? It does not, no. It goes through Protect. Yes, okay, I score that KO. I think that's all I really needed there. I think that's really all I needed to get going. Yeah, there's Gudra. I'm going to go ahead here and Heavy Slam Grimmsnarl. Well, it's Phantom Force. Or not Phantom Force. I think I Heavy Slam Grimmsnarl and go hard into the Clod Sire. I don't really take too much from Heavy Slam from Gudra and it can't... Uh... No, I need a I need a heavy slam here, right? But I have to immediately go into Claude Sire and go for that yawn. I can't let it set up too much, or it's actually going to be a nuisance. If I'm lucky, it's Sap Sipper and not Shell Armor, and then I can actually crit. But they're usually almost all Shell Armor. Turn into a fairy type. Okay. Good to know. I do have Gunk Shot and Heavy Slam, but Heavy Slam won't do that much. It'll do nothing. So they shelter up. And this is going to be a timer game. I think I play for timer to win this. Heavy Slam doesn't quite KO. The next one will, and I can just go for the Yawn. If they want to go into Gyarados, it's fine. Gyarados doesn't do too much. Finally, timer gaming. Did you guys miss the old Moxie boosted timer games? I feel like a lot of people learned how to play to timer from me. I feel like I taught a lot of people how to do that. All right, that KOs. I get the yawn off. They don't have a lot of, they don't have a lot of a uh, boost yet. So actually, I'm not in a bad spot. Yeah, they didn't get a lot out of that. Um, hold on. My window is open. I don't want my neighbors to know I'm a dirty streamer. All right, I'm going to go for Wild Charge. I'm actually going to hard switch in my Dragapult. Um, and the reason is because endgame with Claude Sire is a lot easier if I don't have to worry about anything really. Actually, maybe I just wild charge and go for the yawn. Waterfall? You idiot! You fool. You fell for it. Thundercross split attack. And by that I mean I a water absorb. <laughs> Yeah, water, water absorb. Yeah, the thunder cross split attack. Awesome. All right, the only way I lose here is if I accidentally lock, um, if I accidentally lock dragon darts instead of Terra blast. But who would do that? Who would be dumb enough to do that? Right? Not me. Not me. I would never do that. All right, Gudra's asleep. Uh, we'll go for Terra blast into the Gyarados. That should KO. I get to go for a gunk shot. That's fun. And I don't know how heavy um, Claude Sire is, but I'd imagine it doesn't actually mind the... It, it probably doesn't mind the um, the heavy slams too much. 
And it resists body press, so we're probably fine. Alright, that did a decent chunk, but... Alright, and the Reflect's gone too now. Yeah, okay, we're good. I think we're fine. Yeah, we'll go uh, Helping Hand Terror Blast. This is Choice Band Terra Ghost choice with with adaptability. Like you know, it's 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 also helping handed. It's stronger than Sword of Ruin Boost. Let's see. I'm gonna say it's a two shot. Yep, nice. All right, stay asleep. Good job, nice. All right. Terra Blast, Helping Hand. Didn't even have to do timer end game. We managed to position in such a way where we were fine. Nice. All right. Cool. Cool, really solid, uh, also I just realized that low kicks are sleeping. Really solid couple of games. Like, we started off really bad, like that first game I got absolutely, like, swept. Um, but I really like, uh, I really like what went down there. I think that was a, a solid showcase, uh, of the Cloud Sire. But yeah, if you guys are watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.